Hey guys, so um, this week I'm going to be doing a week of testing Pinterest sort of DIYs or just DIYs. Um, so I'm going to be uploading a video every week this week um, and you should subscribe so you don't, so you don't miss any. Um, and this is obviously the first one. Um, so today we're going to be making personalised sharpie metallic mugs so what you need is a mug and this one was from ikea for like a few pounds and what you're gonna need are your metallic sharpies now warning if you want to use your mug and drink out of it then you're gonna have to use oil based sharpies otherwise your design will rub off when you wash it but if you're just gonna use yours for decoration like me then you're gonna then you can just use any normal metallic sharpies so you're gonna want to make sure your mug is clean which i guess mine already is because it just came out of the dishwasher um and then you're going to need your sharpies and oh yeah i forgot you also need your tape or stickers so basically because you're personalizing it if you have like name stickers like i don't know if you have a name like s where it's curly and you can't make it with like straight tape then you're gonna need some name stickers or you can just use name stickers anyway like you know um but i'm just doing my initial okay basically i know it's really bad but i already did this yesterday and like i meant to be testing it but i couldn't help but make it yesterday and i didn't video it so this is what it turned out like yesterday and i used the tape to do an l so today I'm not going to do an L because I've already made one with an L. I'm going to make one with a heart. So I'm going to figure out how to make a heart out of this stuff. Finally, finally made my heart. I had to use some sticker paper, but I finally made it. Took a while. Um, and you're gonna need to find the middle of your mug. I can't be bothered. So that's about in the middle. I'll show you in a minute. I'm just trying to get this right. <laughs> It's going to be a bit lumpy in places, so just smooth it. It's so hard to show you. Look. Um, yeah, you just have to get it like that, if you can really see that. I'll take a picture of it now and I'll put it on the screen. Just let me get my phone. So then once you've got your mug like this, what you're going to want to do is pick the colour of your Sharpie. So for this mug that I made before, I used the copper colour one and it's officially called bronze, but I would call it copper. But So I think I might use the gold one. And what you should do first is you should just practice writing something on a piece of paper just to check how it looks you know get the exact colour I think a silver one looks quite nice but I'm not sure how much it will show up on the mug because the mug's white and it's quite a light colour but I might go in with some silver after so what you're going to want to do is decide if you're going to go all the way around the mug 
lying on this one or if you're just going to do like a section I think I'm going to go all the way round because I like that but what I did on that one was I made a border with washi tape at the top and at the bottom and I quite like that so I think I'm going to do that again so you just want to take a really long piece of washi tape this might be a bit long I know it's all curled up I hate it when that happens help so and then you want to make a little border and try and keep it even although that's quite hard when it goes because it goes around and then it like yeah you get me so and then you just want to trim it where they meet Ta-da! and you can fold the inside bit down if you want but you know so that's how it looks So we've got this all done and dusted. And now you're basically going to want to put dots all around the heart. So I'll do a few, then I'll show you, and then I'll do more. Just so you know, it takes ages, so I might speed it up a bit in a minute. We're going to finish talking. We like Okay, so now what I've done is I've basically covered the whole thing in little gold spots. Um, and oh, I might do some dots in silver. So I think I'm just going to do that. And Um, and now what you've got to do... Oh, I might have just smudged all of that by holding the handle. Um, what you've got to do is peel off the sticker. So... It's really hard because I can't see what I'm doing. Got to get it in a really careful place where you're not gonna. Oh, sorry, I just got a text. Oops, that failed. Okay, so let me right now. But I'm filming a video, so you know I'll go in a minute. So you just gonna peel off your sticker. Oh no, there's a tiny bit on there. So if a tiny bit comes off, this doesn't happen with washi tape, but I guess because it's an actual sticker some of it's still on if you can get it off of your fingers perfect if you can't then just get a cotton stick thing what are they i don't know what they're called those cotton sticks and make it a little bit wet with like hot water and just rub it off but that's how the heart looks it's really hard to show you right now so thanks for watching this video hope you liked it and you will subscribe so you can see tomorrow's video and the one after and the one after and all of that so remember to like subscribe bye